Is that on the... Uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Bishop got the night comment. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Jeremy. <coughs> Get down. That's new. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, after that. My name is Seth. And I'm an epic gamer. Nice. Today is Tuesday, Keep April on. 24th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're gonna mess up the... Him first. Him first. Does that like, <coughs> did you take that photograph or did Mr. Bischoff take a selfie? <laughs> today, today, is the last day to quickly and easily change a course for next year. If you would like to, know to modify your course request, be sure to submit the necessary paperwork, which can be found in your Schoology resource folder, or stop by the counseling office to pick up a change form. As a reminder, you can view your proposed courses for the next year in your community portal account. The listing is in the file cabinet under the reports area. Attention all 9th and 10th grade students planning to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a spring financial aid night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Come to learn more about career acceleration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents. I forget those all the time. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. Yo, freshmen. Freshmen. Really. Freshmen. Because Dr. Gambler will not be here on Wednesday, the no sub sale is being extended through this Friday. That's April 27th. Remember, after this date, if you have not returned anything to room 214, your name will be added to the obligation list, which means you can't walk at graduation in the next four years. Return your form, money, and your form, or, what? Oh, or $2 to avoid being placed on the obligation list. Yep. Congratulations to the Mountaineer Computer Science students who competed in uh, the 33rd Annual High School Coding Competition held last week at Harrisburg's Hack Campus. Ephrata entered two teams who competed against a field of 20 opponents. Each team was given seven problems, and they had two, two hours and 15 minutes to solve them. In that time, they had to develop a plan, write the program, and output the results. The questions were very challenging, and the average number of correct answers across the 20 teams was 3.2 out of 7. Finishing 8th out of the 20 teams was the cohort of Josue Perez, Nate Malmer, Woo! which is me, oh. and Tobias Steely. Ten. Finishing 4th and earning a trophy was the team of Caleb McKinney, Colin Robson, and Nick Hoops. Congratulations, hey. especially to me, because I'm the coolest one. You're an epic gamer. Now over to news. <laughs> oh. Hey, what up, Ephrata? It's Edwin, your favorite news boy. A 29-year-old man opened fire on diners in a Tennessee Waffle House this weekend. He reportedly possessed an AR-15 rifle as well as a backpack containing a pistol and ammunition. The man was able to shoot and kill four people before he was disarmed by a patron of the restaurant, James Shaw Jr. After this, the shooter removed his coat and fled the scene naked, where he was later found in the woods by police. On this day in the year 1800, President John Adams approved legislation to collect $5,000 worth of books that would be necessary for use by the Congress. That's like three books today. Ta-da, the Library of Congress was born. The first collection included 964 volumes and nine maps, but most of the library was destroyed during the War of 1812. Dang. Thomas Jefferson, who, has previously advocated, who had previously advocated for the library, sold his own about 6,487 volumes. Today, the library contains over 17 million books, audio files, film, maps, and so on, including the album Straight Out of Compton by NWA. Now back to the main desk with lunch. Yo, lunch, check out the new simple strawberry smoothie. It's not complex, it's just simple. Brownie parfaits and cold brewed coffee, available in the snack room starting today. I love cold brewed coffee. It's so good. Today for lunch we have walking tacos, mozzarella stuffed sticks and sauce. Can I get a uh, Papa John's pizza? Papa John's pizza. Uh, ham roast beef cheese wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. A buffalo chicken salad. Refried beans. Mexican coin. Grape tomatoes with dip. A soy of fresh fruit and a slushy. Slushy. <laughs> now over to sports. Say, I wanted to say Anthony Gomez Garcia coin, but. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
get assaulted by a fish ball. Why are you leaving it, dude? In sports resorts, baseball won six to one at home versus Cedar Crest, and softball lost playing away at Cedar Crest. The Mountaineer track and field team swept the Mannheim Central Barons yesterday afternoon at the middle school track. The boys team improved to four wins and one loss with a closely fought win, 86-64. Eli Bazinga and Andrew Foster led the boys team with two wins apiece with Logan Usner, Charlie Shu, Tanya Luce, and Jordan Zom each winning key events. The girls team made short work of the previously undefeated Lady Barons, cruising to a 114-36 victory. Madison Martin, Mary Campbell, and Faith Hirschberger were the double winners as the Lady Mounts won all the events but two. Nice. The girls track field team record is now 5-0. and oh. Congratulations to both teams on the two great wins. Today in sports, boys lacrosse is away at Conestoga Valley, girls lacrosse is home versus Conestoga Valley, and softball is away at Exeter. Now, back to the main couch. Pick on the Senior Day is coming up. It will be held on May 11th. Here is your chance to bid on one of the seniors and dress them in the most creative way possible. Bidding will be held in the cafeteria during your lunch from April 24th through May 8th. Seniors who choose to participate should sign up during lunch. If you have any questions, stop down and see Mr. Barzak in room 137. Yay. We hope to see everyone wearing green today to represent lymphoma and liver cancer. The Relay for Life is only one day away. If you have not donated yet, there is still time. Also, if you would like to participate in a friendly competition during your walking time, you may sign up at lunch. Well, Ephrata? That's all we have. That's all we have. Also, now that I'm officially a Epic Gamer, uh, I have a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel. You should subscribe to both. Uh, support my Patreon. That is a Nate, uh, Nate Patreon.com slash Nate Dog. Uh, give me all your money. Um, there's a lot of lot of rewards for the higher tiers, you know. Maybe nice. even you can get an epic Got it. Atlet. Okay. <laughs> I wanted them to cut me off. <laughs> that let me go. All right. I saw Mr. Bishop back there going. <laughs> <laughs>